Hello from me. Um, I'd like to thank the organizers for, for inviting us. Um, rather than going through a long speech, I'd like to just go through some, some key points and some, I would say, um, things that I've seen over the last few months. But first, I think you will agree all with me that there's been a huge, huge uh, momentum in terms of investment. Investment, momentum, people being interested in Greece. And maybe what makes me uh, most happy of all is that I've seen um, international investors of highest quality coming back to Greece, which was not the case um, a few years ago. The quality of the investor base, the quality of people looking in Greece is, is, is clearly changing. The other important thing, I, which um, I think is very good again, is that the bracket of the investor base is getting larger. So you're not getting only the investors who used to look at Greece and who are just increasing the size of their portfolio. What you're seeing is new investors, people who had not looked at Greece or had shied away from Greece, are now coming back and looking at Greece. And I think this, again, is very important. Part of this obviously has to do with um, things, uh, with people looking for a safe harbor, partly it's to do with all the amounts of capital that are available for investment throughout the world and the very low cost of funding. And I think this translates into the excellent results of the Greek government bonds, the actual Greek companies who have been able to get uh, access to debt capital markets. And also it has shown from the quality of the investors, I say this again, for instance in Elinico, we've got two excellent um, international investors looking for our casino. So I think this momentum is, is very important, and the challenge here now is to make sure that we can keep it, we can um, continue having it, and that uh, this translates into further uh, investments. We have to take this unique opportunity um, and make sure we do not lose it. I think there are some headwinds, and these are not to do so much with um, with uh, Greece, it's got to do with the international environment, Brexit, trade wars, so on and so forth. So it's important that Greece very quickly translates into a safe harbor, which it is, and can continue doing this. One other big challenge, and I think uh, for us, um, it, it, it would help us leapfrog maybe into the future, is sustainability. And uh, this is a wider theme in Europe. I don't think we've discussed a lot. It's a huge investment opportunity. Um, the world is changing, climate change is here. As uh, Mr. Hoyer, the chairman of the IB, said, whoever doesn't believe in climate change is a loser. Van Rompuy himself said, we don't want to be on the wrong side of history. So I think for us in Greece now, embracing uh, sustainability, making sure we can get technology early on in Greece, could actually uh, ensure that we are uh, one step ahead of um, other countries and make sure and actually add a lot to GDP. I'll say just two words about uh, the fund and then I'll, I'll leave you. Um, 2019 was a year to plan for 2020. In 2020, we've got a si significant amount of projects coming up. You've got the Athens International Airport, where we're selling 30%. You've got Hellenic Petroleum, VEPA, which is, will be carved out into infrastructure, supply, and distribution. Um, we also have regional ports. Um, we have the underground gas storage facility in Kavala. Um, we have a nice piece of real estate in the Hornets and much more. So I would kindly ask you, if you're interested in any of our asset portfolio, come and see us because we are very interested to hear your views and also explain what our portfolio is. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Obedis. Um, I noticed in your speech you said about the different type of investors that are investing in the Greek market and what you have seen. Have you witnessed over the past years a change in the profile of the investors that come to you, maybe from more opportunistic to more strategic investors? Absolutely, this is the case. And since 2011, this has uh, changed. So you, you get the uh, strategic investors. Uh, they're looking always at trophy assets. They never leave. It's just then just a question of uh, competition and price but you also get a lot of uh, shorter term investors who are looking for the opportunity. This has evened out and we're actually getting a very significant amount of strategic investors and people who had not ever looked at Greece before. And as I explained earlier, there's a number of reasons why this is happening, partly because of uh, Greece's unbelievable performance, but also part of you know, international, um, what's happening internationally. Thank you for that. I um, also noticed during your speech you talked about uh, climate change and sustainability. Is there an indicator, a measurable indicator, that the you 
utilization of state-owned property can have any positive effects in relation to sustainability and climate change? I think there's a lot we can do. I'll, I'll maybe paint the picture with, with an example which is easy to understand. We, we have some um, uh, thermal springs, right? Yamat yeah, PS. And the actual water which is used in the thermal springs is thrown into the sea, right? So what could be done is recycle this water to heat the hotel that is actually using the thermal springs, right? So instead of uh, burning energy, uh, gas, uh, oil, or whatever you're using to, to, for the winter to heat this hotel, you could actually use the water coming from the thermal springs itself, which is hot. So this type of ideas uh, can be used, can be implemented. I think there's um, a lot that can be done. Actually, we are working with the EBRD. They are funding a project of ours, which effectively will look at um, all our projects and see how we can act and implement sustainability in every single project. And obviously, some are more attuned to this, others are less so. However, for every single project, we are looking how to do it. Thank you very much.